SPL TV Live. I'm joined by Val Joyner and Kimberly Gallinat, who are here to speak with us about St. Louis Crisis Nursery's Holiday Help Program. And before we even go to the holidays, let's just talk about St. Louis Crisis Nursery, because you guys have a lot to share with us about your programs and things you're doing. So, Val, give us a little bit of um, background. Yeah, so for about 29 years now, we've been providing short-term care for children. Um, when their parents are faced with overwhelming stress or maybe homelessness, um, you know, domestic violence, just those life-changing situations mm -hmm. um, that require them to have a safe place for their children to go. And you're located where? We have five nursery locations okay. throughout St. Louis, St. Louis City and County, St. Charles and also Wentzville, and we also have um, family outreach centers, and we actually just opened one on the campus of um, St. Mary. Okay, and St. Mary's Hospital? St. Mary's Hospital. Okay, so what's the family outreach program? So in the family outreach program, that's basically where we provide follow-up care for our parents. Um, it's when we connect with the parents, find out what's going on, you know, what led up to the crisis, and how can we help them to resolve their situation. Um, we also offer parents in education and basic resources that they may need um, and community referrals if needed. Wow, it sounds like a great resource. And Kim, you know, you're working directly with the families and the children. Yes. So tell us a little bit about what you do and how you interact and the types of services that you provide. What I really like about this program is we can meet um, the parents and the families where they're at. Um, it's a home visiting program, so I've had visits with parents not just in their home, on benches in parks, McDonald's, libraries, anywhere that's convenient for them. So that's one step that we take out of the day for them to have to figure out how to come to us. Um, I like to think of our program in three different steps. One, we really help them flesh out their long-term goals. I think it's really easy for people to um, be able to say, maybe I want to own my own home or have a job. But what are those really small steps in between that will help them reach those goals? Mm -hmm. Like Val said, connecting them to resources in the community that can help them achieve those goals. But just offering a safe space to talk about maybe something from the past or the present that maybe is blocking them from taking that next step for their family. So you're a social worker. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. And but there are also so you're meeting the families in their homes mm -hmm. or other locations like you mentioned. But there's as you mentioned there are places where families can come and bring their children to be yes. cared for during the day. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And that's the actual crisis nursery okay. centers and where we have five of them. And the great thing about that is the care is 24 hours mm -hmm. a day. So it doesn't matter what hour of the day that the parent is like in crisis or emergency and they need us, they can call us. It can be 3 o'clock in the morning, it can be 3 mm -hmm. o'clock in the afternoon. It doesn't matter if it's a holiday. Just give us a call and let us help you. So is there a time limit um, or duration uh, that people are limited to using the facilities? Um, for example, is it you're limited to a month to kind of get things together and you know we meet the families where they are on average children stay two to three days but okay. we've had some situations where children have stayed as long as two weeks mm -hmm. can talk more so about it really that. is a crisis situation right. that it has a uh, needs to be resolved quickly Absolutely. and then and in the meantime the children are given mm -hmm. a safe place yeah they're given a safe place they're also given food diapers clothes shoes everything at no cost so the way that I like to compare it when you know when you have an emergency and you have to go to the emergency room you're probably thinking in your head oh this is going to cost me you know X amount of dollars for my copay or mm -hmm. whatever fee that they're going to charge when parents call the crisis nursery there's no fee mm -hmm. you know that your children are going to get what they need you'll get the services that you need and you're not going to you're not going to walk away with an invoice mm -hmm. that's so nice and so do, is there a qualification um, uh, program or uh, is there a way that you qualify the, the clients as to whether or not they will ben they can benefit from the services or is anybody? You know, any parent with a child birth through age 12 can mm -hmm. call us Okay, and you can get the help that you need. That's really great. That's really great. And so do you see a lot of success? And maybe, Kim, we can turn this question to you. Um, in the families that you're working with, do you see them actually achieving some of these goals? A hundred percent. I think... Um, What's neat is sometimes people just need somebody from the outside looking in because you can have blinders on when you're in crisis and not see that there's just one extra step I need to take or maybe there's um, a family or friend that I haven't reached out to that can help me. Um, there was a um, mother who was living in an alley with her son and all she needed was I think maybe four days of care for her son before she was able to connect with a long-term transitional housing program. Within two months she was able to have a job in her own place, which to us might seem like a long time, but that's really short in um, the span of 
some crisis situations. So sometimes you just need that, that one extra step. And just having someone to care for her mm -hmm. child while she could make those phone calls and, and solve mm -hmm. those problems. Exactly. Yeah, so we're going to um, take a quick break, but we are going to talk about the Holiday Help Program in, uh, after this break. So don't go anywhere. Uh, please stay tuned to SDL TV Live to hear more about the St. Louis Crisis Nursery Holiday Help Program in just a few minutes. We'll be right back.